I've always been fascinated by anatomy. Um, the drawings that I've done over the years and the things that I collect are quite anatomically based. And that's the feeling that I get from these patterns. Every detail of a human body is recorded and transferred into these blocks. Every man and woman has his own pattern and it keeps being maintained and adjusted and altered as time goes by. The bespoke process begins with a customer coming in um, to have an introductory conversation where he makes simple decisions on the cloth he would like, the kind of suit that he's after, and then he's measured incredibly accurately. These measures are then transferred into a pattern any change made on a garment is related to the pattern. So it's basically the cutter is documenting this conversation on the pattern. So the pattern is key to the cutter. Over time, you really get to know someone's shape. And that's what these, that's what these patterns are for me. It's, like you say, it, it's, it's it's purely a piece of information about someone else. But you, you have a certain relationship with them. I love, I love playing with the patterns and, uh, and drawing them out onto the cloth and the, the curves and the shapes that they make. We don't throw away any of the cloth. We, we fold up every small part that could possibly be used in the, the making of the rest of the garment. So even those shapes you get to know really, really well. The bit that you've cut out of an armhole or the bit that's left at the top of, a, of the back where you've cut that out. So even all of those things are part of the process. It's not just this piece here. It's a negative space that it creates. This is where all the patterns are stored alphabetically. Um, this whole section here there's possibly 4,000 patterns in the archive. Some of the customers have uh, been in existence for 30 or 40 years. And as one ages, the body starts to change. And this has to be recorded on the pattern. It's simply a conversation between customer and cutter and this conversation these secrets are recorded in these pattern folders. Ever so often, uh, there's a clear out of men who've passed away. Uh, the tailor will only uh, dispose and discard the pattern when the gentleman passes away and there's no use for the patterns. It's a whole archive of visual shapes that have been ignored and they become components and parts in my work. As an artist, I'm attracted to patterns because they are a rich source material, shapes, abstract shapes of the human body. I love it when a really 